Hey guys, welcome back to 60 Year Garage. I'm Brian, and today I'm going to show you how to build a bike rack for a truck bed out of PVC piping. So, I decided to give this project a try because I'm tired of my bike sitting in the back of my truck, uh, bouncing around the bed, scratching the bed liner, scratching on the bike. Not to mention, uh, when you get two bikes in the back, the bikes are rubbing on each other. So, this is long overdue. And I looked online, um, I found a metal bike rack similar to the one I'm going to build on eBay for about 60 bucks. Of course, it's on eBay, so it's made in China. It probably won't even last. Uh, the advantage to using PVC is that it's uh, one, it's not going to rust on you. Two, it's lightweight. I can take it out of the truck and I can uh, put some hooks in the garage wall and hang it up there when it's not used. So I got on Google first and I found somebody on instructables.com that had already built a PVC bike rack for their truck, which was a Toyota Tacoma. So that made it a lot easier for me. Um, saved me from having to do all the measurements myself. So I just went out and bought the materials. Um, ended up costing about 25 bucks. I've had this gigantic can of PVC cement for about 15, 20 years. So I already had that. And uh, this will save me uh, a bit of money versus buying one off the internet. And I had the satisfaction of knowing that it was made in America right here in my garage. You notice I've got a couple extra elbows and some couplers. You don't actually need those. They were in my PVC fittings box, so that's why I had them out. Here I am on Google. I have typed in PVC truck bike rack, and one of the first results is Instructables truck bed PVC bike rack. Here we go. <clears throat> As you can see, this guy's got a Tacoma, which uses the same size bed as an 84 88 pickup, so I'm good on the dimensions. Hopefully, we'll find out. So here's what I'm going to be building. Uh, like I said, this guy has already gone through the measurements and, and made the plans. No. So uh, I'm going to be using his sizes to build mine. And we have, although this seems a little bit much, four 10 foot, three quarter inch PVC pipes. Um, that seems like an awful lot, but I got four just in case. Six three quarter inch uh, elbows, 18 three quarter inch tees and chop saw which I don't have and PVC glue and an optional mallet so I'm gonna need uh, 12 pieces that are 10 inch long six pieces that are 12 inches long six pieces that are six inches long and nine pieces that are two inches long and because I don't have a chop saw and I don't want to mess around with that all day we are gonna go over here we are going to bust out the Sawzall. Okay, just holding it got a little sketchy. Uh, don't try that at home. If you don't have a chop saw, I recommend you at least use a vise. Much better. Now I've got my 12 inch and my 10 inch pieces cut. Next I'm going to cut my 6 inch pieces, which I need 6 of, and then my 2 inch pieces, which I need 9 of. Tighten that blade down. Yep. 
Now this might be because I use a uh, sawzall with a metal cutting blade that this happened, but if you look at the ends, they're all a little bit, uh, a little bit jagged there. And this is going to keep the whole thing from going together as smoothly as it should. So, small extra step I need to do here, I got a file, and I'm just going to file these down and make them nice and smooth. Then I realized that's going to take a while. So, let's do it this way. All right, I've got all my pieces cut out. Now I'm back looking at the instructions and we are going to build the horizontal parts. And those require two elbows, four T's, three two inch pipes, and two 10 inch pipes. By the way, you're gonna need just a little bit more than two of these 10 footers. I had an extra two feet and that was just enough. So you actually need to buy three, not four, and then you'll have about eight feet left over. Okay, I'm gonna make my, uh, my first piece here, and this is going to be two 10 inch pieces, two elbows, four T's, and three two inch pipes. So let's start with the T's. We're gonna go T, two inch, T, now mind you, I'm not going to glue this together until I'm sure everything is going to fit into my truck bed. So we have that. And next we're going to have an elbow. Two inch. And a T. Going to make two of those. And then... Going to connect them. Ta-da! Now, I need to make three of these. All right, next step are the vertical pieces. Now, this is where Instructables actually has an error in the instructions. It says uh, you need one 12 inch pipe, one 10 inch pipe, and one T. That should read one 12 inch pipe, one six inch pipe, and one T. So. I'm going to make six of these and using a six inch pipe instead of a 12 inch pipe. So, you got a 12 inch, six inch, and a T. All right, next step is just a simple assembly step as shown. I'm gonna put my six uh, vertical pieces that I just made in between two of my horizontal pieces here. Okay, with the rack upside down, as I have it here. We are to put the three 10 inch, or the six 10 inch pieces into the other T's. I'm just loosely putting this together right now. Once I have this all together and finalized and everything's the right size, I'll go back, put the glue in, and then tap them together farther with a mallet. Next, I'm gonna put my other horizontal piece on top, and then we'll give it a test fit. You know, I, I'm actually not that impressed. Um, 
This is only a 26 inch mountain bike and you can see that the, the wheel barely sits in there. You get a 29 inch wheel, um, which wouldn't really work too well for you. I don't think it'd be that stable. So <clears throat> I'm going to actually modify this a little bit and uh, see what I can come up with. I think what I'm going to get, what I'm going to do here is try switching out that six inch pipe for that 10 inch pipe. See what happens. Okay, let's see how this fits. I'm liking this better already. Okay, this is good. It, it sits down in there better. That's gonna be a lot more stable from side to side because you have a lot more of the tire inside the rack. Not to mention, you got a little bit of extra room for a, a larger tire as well. So to avoid any potential confusion, um, Instructables, they had these pieces as 10 inches in the instructions as well as these pieces in 10 inches in the instructions. I took a guess that they meant these were 6 inch, but if you follow the instructions, these uh, last ones here should actually be a 6 inch size, at least to get it to fit in my bed. You know, each truck's a little bit different, that's why you put it together first without glue Make sure it's what you like, then go back and glue it. And I'm also going to paint it because I think it looked better in black. Let's glue it together. And again, I didn't have to buy this because I already had it. If you do have to buy this, uh, don't get one this big. I've had this for like 15 years. It's going to last me the rest of my life. I don't do a lot of PVC work. All right, I've got my glue and I'm using my mallet this time for final assembly because these pieces are gonna go all the way together and not come apart again. It doesn't take a lot of glue. Early on, I was putting a lot on. It was getting all over my hands, dripping on the desk. So yeah, you don't need much glue. Now you see, I keep picking this piece up and looking down, almost like I'm looking down the barrel of a shotgun. And this is to uh, constantly check that all my T's and my elbows are in line with each other. Because if these things start getting a little bit off, you're going to have different angles, and then nothing's going to line up. It's going to be really hard to put together. And once you glue this together, it is not coming apart. Uh, by the way, this glue smells awful. Uh, you're going to want to use this in a well-ventilated area for sure. There it is, it is all done. I uh, let the glue dry, actually overnight because I ran out of time yesterday. So it's good, solid. Um, you can see it, uh, it's a little bit warped, I guess you could say, because not every measurement went into the uh, connecting piece quite evenly, but I'm happy with it. Let's go see what kind of paint we have over here. <clears throat> All right, let's see here. Don't really need anything uh, too crazy or high heat, although I'm guessing anything will stick to this. Here we go, what's this? Bounds to plastic. Substrates, most plastics, PVC. So hopefully this will save me having to put primer on before I put my paint on. No prep, I like the sound of that. And even though that uh, fusion paint says no prep, I am still gonna wipe this down with some uh, prep spray, which is a wax and grease remover. And that's just to remove any oils or anything like that that's gonna cause the paint not to stick. Better safe than sorry.
my paint has dried, I have the rack in the back of the truck, and now I'm gonna put the bike on using ratchet straps. Now the rack will keep the bike from tipping from side to side. The ratchet straps are actually what's gonna hold the bike down, not only into the rack, but also uh, front to back to keep it from moving at all. So that's it, everything worked out all right. I made it there and back okay, no issues. And uh, by the way, if you're wondering how my, uh, well, this frame repair is holding up, it is great, no problems at all. I did end up replacing the bearings, uh, all the bearings there, but crack has not grown at all.